Bill Gleason and I uh, go back many, many years. His scholarly works are well known to most any serious student of Aikido. Bill, thanks for being with us. As Olson say expressed, uh, the principle of Aiki can be used in any way you choose. And that's where Olson say went in a different direction with this. Uh, the easiest way to talk about it is completion of the universe because everything in the universe is already perfect except human beings. We're the only ones who haven't realized our potential and therefore saying that, we, that Aikido is a way of uh, completing the universe is saying that we have to realize our true nature and manifest it. In Osensei's viewpoint, it's quite clear that this was probably the main focus of, of what he felt about Aikido and what he wanted to create with it. Aikido in daily life, it's about manifesting I in your daily life. And what is I? I is infinite expansion, which is abundantly overflowing compassion for all things. And the center of it, which makes it, makes it exist, the root, that's wisdom. So that root wisdom, and then this is, becomes a part of everything you do and the reason why you do things. When the body is connected with the mind, when they become one, then when, with that unified being, you move with yin and yang, or in tune with nature, as Osensei said. Then power comes out from the balance of yin and yang in your movement. It's not through key, it's the key that makes you connected. In order for Aikido, you got not only you keep center, but you've got you've got to move as a spiral, and you've got to stop using your body movement to create power. Your body, the body, the power comes from the inside. It doesn't come from your outside movement. Just like in the in the in the Chinese arts, they say the first thing is yielding, but then people start to collapse, and when you collapse again, you've you created the same dilemma. So you have to learn how to receive with your mind in a state of total relaxation, which can only happen, again, is if your key is expanded in the six directions, beginning with being rooted in heaven and earth. Now, heaven and earth, this is, this is kind of, you know, these big flamboyant terms, but what does it really mean? It means that your spine is stretched up straight, pulling the fascia from the roots of the back of your head all the way down your back to your heels pulled up and you've learned to stretch the spine up and down and you carry that with you vertically and you watch visit videos of Osen saying you're gonna that's exactly what you're gonna see I don't think you're gonna see too many other people these days trying to move like that because they don't have that concept <laughs>